Hello everyone, my name is Derek Soybert and we will be talking a little bit today about our strategy for our 2023 robot. And we're going to talk a little bit about the what's, as we like to call them. So it's what would we like a robot to accomplish. Going into our brainstorming session, we read all the rules, and then we decided, okay, what are all the things that our robot can accomplish? We split this up into four main categories. The autonomous mode, the teleoperated period, the end game, and then an other category for other features that may be useful for this game. In autonomous, we have um, mobility, scoring the cones in the bottom, middle, and top areas, scoring the cubes in the bottom, middle, and top areas, docking, engaging, and intaking cones off of the ground, and cubes. In the teleoperated period, we have uh, scoring in the bottom, middle, and top as well for both cubes and cones, intaking off the grounds, the player's sh shelf, and the single substation on the side. In the end game, we have docking, engaging, and for other, we came up with uh, being able to flip cones and self-write them, being able to buddy climb, which is allowed in the rules this year, being able to auto-level with a drivetrain or with a mechanism, and repositioning of cubes and cones once they've already been scored into higher point areas. So in the autonomous period, we prioritize mobility. We also prioritize being able to do the bottom and middle rungs at least put a smaller weighting as well on docking and engaging, but we would really like to see that happen. So uh, one of the things that we think is important for teams to realize is how valuable docking and engaging in auto is, but we realize also the time constraint we have and the programming involved with uh, leveling. So that might be a concern. We also prioritize intaking cones and cubes off the ground so that we can score more cubes and cones in autonomous than just the preloaded. In the teleoperate period, we prioritize again bottom and middle rungs. We prioritize strongly being able to pick both of these items off the ground and slightly prioritize picking them up off the shelf. In endgame, we want to be able to both dock and engage. So the main thing is designing a robot with enough ground clearance and lean ability so that we can get that engage, get that 10 points in endgame. We also decided that we want to be able to pick up both the cu cubes and the cones in any orientation. Now the cubes, of course, doesn't matter. It's a cube. You can pick it up in any orientation. It's all the same. But the cones, we decided we want to be able to pick up when they're laying down. So we decided to pursue another mechanism for that. And that's pretty much what we decided to do for the what's. In later videos, we'll talk a little bit more about how we're accomplishing this. But this is our priorities. These priorities are not necessarily what your team should do as an FRC team. They're just what we decide to do in our 72-hour build. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.